Hello everyone. First, I apologize for the delay after part one and part number two, uh, creating a uh, responsible website using Bootstrap in Dreamweaver. In part number one, we created a bare bones structure of responsible website. In part number two, we stylized using CSS. In part number three today, we're going to complete the contact page using PHP file. So um, uh, please download the other source code files from the link I provided in my description. So those are code uh, we're going to use today. Uh, if you haven't watched my first two videos, please watch them first. Uh, and so uh, we can uh, just keep working together. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel, hit the like button, and set the alarm for my latest video. Then let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so this is where we stopped in part number two. Uh, in part number one, we created the other one responsive website uh, using the Bootstrap in Dreamweaver. And in part number two, we stylized like this with some background color and then on the logos and then on the different text colors uh, and so on. And also we made a link to each page about, volunteer, adopt, and contact. Uh, everything's responsive. And this bootstrap, I mean the, um, the hamburger button was working fine. It brings us wherever we are. And still the carousel is working. Okay, so we're going to open this contact.html in Dreamweaver to make the, um, the contact form. So let me open the file uh, from my root folder. I'm going to open my contact.html uh, in Dreamweaver. Con open with the Adobe Dreamweaver. Okay, so first, uh, I don't want to keep uh, this, the other three columns, uh, and then uh, the volunteer, adopt, and donate, and also I don't want to keep this accordion information part. So in my DOM panel, under container, uh, the row, that's the one where I have these three columns of info, so let me just delete the whole thing. And also, I don't want to keep this accordion. So delete it. Okay. And also, I just need to keep just the one br the uh, the um, break line tag. Okay. So after contact us the title, I want to have some kind of a subtitle. So please open um, <clears throat> the file I provided. Please open this one first. The form HTML code txt. So um. Contact us today and get reply within one to two business days. So we're going to have that as a kind of subtitle under contact us title. So let me copy this. Back to Dreamweaver. Make sure you're selecting the text, this center contact us. Choose that tab and then open insert menu in HTML category. I'm going to insert the end of paragraph. Paragraph. After contact us title. After. And let me center the text. And then I'm going to just paste the text I copied. So contact us today and get reply within the next one to two business days. Okay. Let me save it. No, I don't want to save it. I will just keep going. Okay. So after that, now I want to have uh, uh, the form. Okay, so please open this again. And then please select all these lines and copy and back to Dreamweaver. And then in the code area, after this paragraph, uh, contact us today, we just paste it. To break the line and we're gonna just paste it here control click and paste it okay now we have a form which is not pretty okay now we're going to stylize it using the style.css remember that yeah in the files tab we already created the style.css here okay so please open the file it's here now Open this time form CSS code, this one. Then from the very top line, 
I'm going to copy the whole thing, highlight everything, copy, oops, sorry, copy this, and back to style.css. After the last bracket, I'm going to give some space. Hit the return key several times and let me paste it. Container. Okay. And then highlight this container, that thing, and paste, copy this line, and then go to your contact.html. See, it is already applied. And then <clears throat> in your contact form, contact form, you see the form ID is contact and the class. So in this section, the class name is going to be that container. So let me paste it. Container. Okay. So it looks good. Looks much better now. So let me save my styles first. Also, let me save my contact.html. And let me preview it. <clears throat> Refresh. See? I already have it. And then this is a fully responsive. Which is pretty cool. Okay. And then, so the visually it is okay. But now I we need to uh, assign the, uh, the actual function so we can communicate with people. So uh, I can email uh, the, or the uh, other people. They can email us. So that is the PHP. But the one thing is, the PHP is the server-side language. Since that we are working on the kind of offline things, offline status, so uh, it's not going to be working. But um, once we complete uh, this instruction, this tutorial, uh, and then once you have your the actual live server, then you can just upload everything on your server. Then it should work. So now, next step is, go back to here. We're going to create the one new file. In your files tab, choose anything, volunteer.html with the uh, style.css, and hold on the control or right click, click somewhere. We're going to create a new file. This time, this file's name is going to be contactform.php. Contactform.php. Okay. Now, open. phpcode.txt copy this whole thing copy and now back to contact open this uh, contact form.php open it it will ask you uh, since we don't have a live server for now I would say no and no then select the whole thing and paste it. The PHP form uh, we we just copied, and then now we just need to change the value here. So first thing is that is the last thing, the submit button. So go to your contact.html, select your submit button. So button's name is a submit. I'm gonna highlight this. Let me copy. I can type it, but just to make sure I'm going to just copy and paste it. And go back to our contact form.php in the post section. Paste it. Okay. So uh, what we're doing now is we copy and paste the form, uh, each form field name to their respective sections. Okay. So I will repeat the same thing. Next thing is that the, uh, the name. So uh, back to our contact. So uh, name. That is this. Input name is name. So let me copy this. And contact form. Name. Paste it. Next thing is a subject. So um, subject input name. Subject here. That is a subject. 
copy contact form and paste it next thing is the um, um, mail from your email address here that is email that's the input name copy contact form and paste it next message input name here as a message oops let me highlight again copy and contact form.php message is message okay so we are getting in there now mail to that's going to be email address your email address or your business email address or your personal email address so since we are uh, we don't have a live server for now I'm just going to type the kind of uh, the, uh, the made up uh, the email address New Hampshire Human Society uh, at let's say at gmail.com <clears throat> So this is the um, uh, you're the recipient the email address okay and the next thing is uh, scroll down you're gonna see that uh, location after send page so highlight this text right before this question mark so we're gonna type here the page URL to be redirected to the after submitting the form so in this case since we are not in uh, we're not in the live server. We're not online, but unless say that um, HTTPS slash www dot uh, New Hampshire Human Society dot org slash contact dot HTML slash so that's going to be the URL. So after hitting the submitting button, and then um, your website will be direct, redirected to this URL. Okay, so let me save it. And then let me go back to a contact.html. So uh, in the contact form, we made a link to um, this container and class name. And then action field, we're going to make a link to those uh, that uh, PHP file, which is a contact form.php. So I'm going to just type it. Contact, it also already uh, shows me, form.php. And save it. So we are all done. So let's view it online. Let me refresh. So in my home page, this is my home, about us page, volunteer, adopt, and contact here. If I click on submit it, it asks me this, please fill out this field. So we can just type it. Okay. So again, for now it's not working, but once you have your live server and once you upload everything online, uh, including your style.css and then your the contact form.php file together, it should work. So that's it. So I hope the this the other series of tutorials uh, help you to build up the, your the, the first website. And then um, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.